Hi there. Appalachian Through Hike 2021 is on like Donkey Kong. I've got my Through Hiker registration form from the Appalachian Trail Conservancy. So I am all registered and ready to go. Uh, along with this, I'd like to do like a little uh, gear update um, throughout this uh, whole uh, quarantine process this past year. I've really had a lot of time to think about what I'm bringing and kind of kind of minimize things a little bit. Um, first thing I did is I got rid of my backpack. I've got this uh, handy dandy little fanny pack from 1985. It's called a hip pocket. I figured I can, uh, you know, put a lot of stuff in there between this and uh, the, uh, the cargo pockets on my hiking shorts. Uh, this should work pretty good. Uh, let's see, along with that, I got a uh, change of clothes, my flip flops, my raincoat. Uh, let's see, first and foremost, well, I should have started with this. I got my hand sanitizer and my face mask. So when I go into town, um, I'll be nice and safe. And I'll keep other people nice and safe, too. Um, I've got my water filtration system. Uh, instead of a pot and pan and camp fuel and all that stuff, I um, kind of thought maybe just a piece of tinfoil. Uh, this isn't that thin, lightweight crap. This is the Reynolds Heavy Duty Nonstick Tinfoil. So you can make it like into a... You know, you can make it into a bowl to boil some water. Uh, you can, like, just lay it out flat. That's my, that's frying pan mode right there. So I can, you know, fry up some whatever on there. Uh, you can unfold it. You can fold it. It, it, it stuff's great. It's unbelievable. Um, that right there is going to save me about probably three pounds. Uh, instead of a pot, pan, a uh, little camp stove, whatever. Tin foil, uh, and a lighter to start a little fire to cook on. Uh, let's see what else I got. I got my uh, I got my battery charger, a little cord so I keep my phone charged. Got this little roll of electrical tape for emergencies. You know, say I break my leg or something, I can probably use this to duct tape a couple uh, logs to my leg or whatever. Uh, um, see what else oh a lot of people ask me what i'm gonna eat for food well starting out i got i got five cans of bm beans i've got three cans of the bacon and onion Ooh, yummy and i got two cans of the original i figured i'd probably just alternate i'd have like monday i'll have you know, in the morning, I'll start out with a third of a can for breakfast, and then I'll eat a third of a can for lunch, and then finish it off for my for my evening. I'll start out with the bacon and onion. On Monday, Tuesday, I'll switch to the original, and I'll just kind of switch back and forth because the bacon and onion kind of make me a little gassy, so shouldn't eat that every day. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to start out with that. Uh, the other thing I was thinking... You know, you hear a lot about, uh, you know, the mice and stuff, mice and rats that you find in the, uh, the shelters that, uh, that you end up sleeping in. So, uh, I figured I'd, you know, bring a little mouse trap. you know, uh, there's more potassium in a mouse than in a banana. Um, and there's more calcium in a mouse than drinking a whole glass of milk. So, I mean... I think uh, the mice there in the in the uh, in the lean tos and stuff they're going to be kind of a kind of a godsend. Um, I could probably catch two or three a night, um, you know, and uh, you know I'll probably eat two for breakfast, throw one in my fanny pack, have that for lunch, you know, uh, whatever, you know, whatever works. Um, I also got this little stick. I thought about bringing a fishing pole. Uh, a lot of people ask me, oh, you're going to bring a fish pole? Well, I got this little bamboo stick with a little bit of twine and a little tiny red hook on there. I figured, uh, you know, I can use this to 
Oh, if I see a stream or whatever, I can dangle it in there, catch a little fish or something. Uh, you can also catch, uh, you know, you can catch frogs with it. Um, probably if you dangle it in the face of a rattlesnake long enough, you'd want to take a strike at that red hook and, uh, you know, you could have snake for dinner. Uh, let's see, what else? Not, not much as far as gear. Uh, I really whittled things down. I got rid of my... Uh, not bringing a tent, not bringing a sleep bag, not bringing a pillow, got rid of all that stuff. I got this tarp. Uh, it's a six by eight foot tarp. Um, you know, I, I thought long and hard about this. This is gonna save me about five pounds of gear. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay the tarp out and I call it burritoing, burritoing, okay? What you do is you lay the tarp out and then one half of the tarp, you keep nice and clean. The second half of the tarp, you put a bunch of leaves, grass, all pine boughs, whatever. And then, so you get your night-night clothes on, you lay on the clean side, and then you start to roll yourself up. And then when you get over to the leaves and stuff like that, you've already got a layer of tarp to protect you. And that's just insulation. So you keep on rolling until you get to the end of the tarp and boom, you're warm, you're dry, you're insulated. You got a little padding off the ground. I think it's going to be spectacular. It's going to work great. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be like, you know, really cool. Uh, yeah. So that's about it. Uh, so super excited to uh, be leaving here about four weeks or so. Uh, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated uh, kind of along the way. Uh, it should be interesting. If not interesting, it'll be entertaining at least. Uh, talk to you later.